morning world. Today we're talking about five ways to make ADHD easier on yourself. First is stop beating yourself up. People with ADHD, especially the ones who did not get diagnosed as a child, who grew pretty much grew up with people saying, hey, you're not doing this right, you're not this, you're not that, pretty much grow up with people beating you up for not following through and not being the child that they expected you to be. So as an adult, stop doing that. The teacher, the parent, they're not there doing it every day for you. You don't have to continue with that beating you, beating yourself up for stuff that you did not do or could not do. No more beating yourself up. Two, put people in your life on a consistent schedule. I'm always talking about how important it is to be organized and to have a schedule as far as managing your own ADHD symptoms. It's also important that you, the people in your life also get on a schedule. That means that you put your spouse, your children, and even your colleague on a schedule because if, you're, if you have a schedule and everybody else around you don't have a schedule of when they can come talk to you, when they can come discuss this, that, and the other, then they will continue to interrupt your schedule. So it's important that the people in your life know, hey, this is the schedule. These are my break time. These are the times when you can walk into my office. These are the times when you should be calling me. These are the times when I can do X, Y, Z for you. And for them to understand that these are your times available and it, outside of those times, they can't ask you for stuff. They can't come knock on your door. They can't come do whatever it is. Three, follow through with your treatments. That is the biggest, biggest issue because once people start seeing that symptoms are no longer there, they believe that they are no longer, um, they no longer have ADHD or that they got ADHD down so they don't um, need treatment anymore. Follow through with your treatment because your treatment is what is keeping you symptom free. Be in treatment, that means medication, count um, therapy if you're doing it, um, whatever behavior modifications that your therapist has helped you put in place. A lot of times you can cut down on the on seeing the therapist. I've had clients do that. But what I find is that when they when the client completely discontinues the counseling, they over time start sliding back because they they start becoming a little bit more relaxed about it. They start becoming less focused, less, um, yeah, they start becoming less focused and they start falling back, sliding back. But clients who um, taper off, maybe go to two months, twice a month, once a month, I find that those clients do a lot better because they still have that accountability of um, me making sure that everything is going, is working and me, um, asking questions and addressing new things as they come up. So even if you're going to go from a one, so once a week to once a month or every two months, whatever it is, keep up with your treatment. Four, make time to exercise. ADHD, one, of, one piece of ADHD is the H, the hyperactivity. People with ADHD need that time to get, you know, get that energy out. So make time to exercise. In addition to the breaks that you take throughout the day, schedule a 30, 40, 40 minutes, maybe even an hour to do some vigorous exercise. Like if you're going to run, walk, whatever it is that your body can handle, schedule some time to exercise. Finally, surround yourself with role models. I'm not saying you need to go work in an office where everyone is wearing a suit and everyone is busy writing and reading and doing that. No, but you need to put, get yourself around people who are um, sh displaying the behaviors that you seek to um, add into your life. Instead, if you want to start focusing more on your work, it's important that you are getting yourself around people who are focusing on their work, people who are actually working as opposed to people who are doing whatever it is that they want to do whenever they want to do it because those people are encouraging you to keep that freestyle, to keep that um, relaxed, no accountability kind of life. All right, quick recap. One, stop beating yourself up because everyone else has had a good chance to do it the whole your whole life. Two, Put people in your life on a consistent schedule so that they know when you are available and when they can bother you and when they are bothering you. Three, follow, follow through with your treatment, especially if it is working for you. Four, make time to exercise because your body needs that opportunity to release all this energy that you've been building up this whole time that you were working. 
Finally, surround yourself with people, with um, role models who are displaying the behaviors that you wish to acquire. And if you're dealing with more than you can handle, as always, please do reach out and get help because it is there and it is available to you. And that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.